I don't know that the windshield wiper is going to help much. I'm beginning with my second take because my, I don't feel my first take was enthusiastic enough for you guys, right? Whatever. I don't know what you expect from me at this point. Anyway, we got more storms coming to Nashville. I've got a shovel and I've got my gloves. I have a few plants I have to move to protect and I want to move on before the rains come. You know, because nothing motivates me more than a thunderstorm. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to show you. See this? See this down here? This is a variety of Black Eyed Susans, Rebecca. I'm not sure which variety. But obviously, when I planted it last year, I had no idea it was going to be squashed by these Autumn Joys. So I'm going to dig this out right now. You guys can come back in. I don't want to get stung, but I got a plant to move. So that's exactly where I'm going to plant it. looks like I'm not going to plant it quite right there because we got some kind of thing going on. So I'm not touching that mess. So let's go back a couple feet. So I dug another hole further back and I found more concrete. So there's some sort of something happening underneath here. So I'm obviously not going to plant there. I'm going to let that just be what it is. But I am going to move this guy here over a few inches and then put the black eyed Susan, the Rebecca here. It's the garbage trucks. Listen to that. My goodness. I never heard that from inside the house. So I ended up moving the lavender over a few inches more because I want to give this guy room to spread without having to think about dividing him for a year or two. But um, right below us though, we have one more baby autumn joy sedum here. I believe this is a variegated one. So what I'm going to do is come over here and mix them in the middle with these other ones. These are all kind of rescues that I have going on in the middle. So he's going to join the family rescues.
All right. I don't know if you can see him over there. He's just like a little hidden baby. I call them all little babies, don't I? <laughs> but there we go. You can see him hiding back here. This is a perfect place because when he gets a little bit more established, he's going to blend well with this kind of variegated random mix I got going on here. He's kind of sheltered from any extreme weather you know because he's surrounded by all the other plants but yet there's going to be enough sunlight coming in this should be perfect for this one to take off we just got a new neighbor looks like we have to talk i'm looking at the garden instead of being obvious and looking at her car because i can't even tell you the inconvenience that is when i'm back and forth with my groceries from the car and you know what I can't wiggle in between that room without cursing, but I'm gonna show you this really quick though. I kind of wonder if she's had this problem before because can you see that damage? Maybe she needs to learn how to park. so here we go this is just a um simple pattern it's just nothing but alternating square knots um i have sets of 24 going all the way across it's a custom pattern but 24 is a it works well with my window size here so there's 48 strands here you can see i started my second row and that's alternating and then this is the third row so i am just going to repeat these all the way across I'm thinking until I get somewhere, oh, somewhere down in this range where you can't see my hand, somewhere down in this range. So that way, when I back up, the, cur the valence here is going to cover the overhang from my balcony there. That's my goal. So I have both of these strung up. This one I'm starting to macrame, and this one is just holding space in the meantime. I've made a lot of progress on my macrame valences here. I've got my third roll of cording here, and I've gone ahead and I've measured out all of the cording. So this is ready to be macrame. This one here is ready to be macrame as well. And this one here I've already started on. So these are just simple square knots, alternating square knots. There are 10 rows of them. I'm debating how far I really wanna carry this down now, because when I've looked down here at the bottom of the macrame. I kind of like the idea of one or two more rows and then this would have that perfect edging along the bottom of the window here. So I'm debating whether I wanna keep the length on this or if I wanna make this more solid because that's going to shrink up the bottom. 
I don't know how I feel about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do 10 rows on each one and then decide. Then I'm gonna decide. You know, welcome to the journey, guys. This is the progress I am making on the crochet blanket I started last week. I wanted to show you this because what you're seeing here, I am quilting this for a full-size bed, okay? And this is one skein of yarn. Yeah, I know you're seeing two, but it's because I'm doubling up the strands. I'm currently using the, the Karen Jumbo Ombre here. But so all of this is all of this. And that carries me with a little bit of drape, maybe about six inches off of each side of the bed, which is a little shorter than I had originally wanted. But the reason, um, and I did make my foundation real longer to accommodate for it, but the reason being is each little crosshatch here, when you're working your initial foundation row, it tugs it up a little bit and it keeps tugging it up a little bit and it tugs it up a little bit in the way that when you're sewing, a pleat is gonna shrink your length, if that makes sense, or width. So, but I'm really pleased with it. That is one yarn and, I, and I'm gonna have more than enough. I can't wait till it's done and I can show you guys. My girlfriend has asked me if I could please make a blanket for her, which I'm really excited to do. And what I picked up for her was uh, the big twist here. And I found a fabulous sale at Joann's today. They were marked on sale for $3.99 a roll. And when I went and cashed out, they were $2.99 a roll. So, Susan, you're getting a heck of a deal. And <laughs> I'm so excited to get this started for you.